let us continue with this ruthless crusade against these worthless mutants and their nasty owners. A dog nut posted this tweet today. She called her dogs stink beasts. Now what does that tell you? These people know full well that dogs stink. But they don't care. They've accepted the fact that they have to be nasty people to be dog lovers. And they're okay with that. They have to be comfortable with disgustingness and a nasty lifestyle. That's why I said again, anybody who would allow these creatures to live inside their home, these are disgusting people. I don't care how many baths they may take, especially people who have physical contact and allow these disgusting mutants to lick on them. These are nasty people. Always carry hand sanitizer everywhere you go. Always. Some of you may be in a situation where you have to shake hands, right? You're going to a, a job interview or whatever. Right, you're going to have these dog nuts who are going to extend their nasty hand to shake your hand. Now, I personally tell people up front that I have a germ phobia and that I do not shake hands. Some of you may have uh, a certain type of job or whatever and you have to shake hands. Just make sure you sanitize your hands as soon as possible. Social distancing should be a lifestyle. Not something that is only done for a limited period of time. The goal is to never make physical contact with dog lovers, to treat them like the nasty people that they are. Keep in mind, these people are saturated with dog shit and dog urine. They're saturated with zoonotic germs, with viruses and parasites, bacteria, and we need to treat them like the nasty people that they are. Their mindset is very similar to a person who eats and plays in excrement and then has the nerve to expect society to accept them as if their lifestyle is acceptable. No. If you extend uh, your dog shit and urine contaminated hand to shake the hand of a civilized person, you deserve to be rejected. These disgusting people will feel all over their dog's body, genital areas and all. We all know this. These people are nasty. Their hands, their faces will be saturated with dog urine, dog feces. Then these people will go to work. They will touch other people, shake people's hands, get close to people when they talk, right within inches of their face. This is inappropriate and unacceptable. Some of you are even able to smell their dog on them, maybe even on their breath, right? They come to work with dog breath. These are disgusting people, and we have to start treating these people like they are disgusting. And we have to stop making them feel like their nasty lifestyle is acceptable. Do not allow these people to get within six feet of you. Use this pandemic to your advantage. Practice social distancing for the rest of your natural life. If COVID-19 is eradicated, continue to practice social distancing for these dog nuts. They deserve it. Always be mindful of deadly 
bacteria like Capnocytophaga, this bacteria that has led several of these dog nuts to have their limbs amputated. Right? Be mindful of the unseen fecal matter and dried urine that these people carry all over their body. Do not get into their vehicles. Do not go inside of their homes. Do not touch anything that they have touched. If you have a desk job, sanitize everything before each shift. Keep a close eye on these people's skin condition. Look for signs of infection. Ringworm, for example, is fairly easy to spot. Their relationship with these disease-ridden scavengers works against the interest of the entire community. And that's what I want to talk about today. You cannot allow yourself to be a victim of their nastiness. There's a movie that came out last year called One Bedroom. Now the word bedroom is abbreviated. It is spelled 1BR. In this movie, this young female is looking for a new apartment. She finds one. It is a pet-free apartment complex. Now, before she moves in, the manager asks her if she had any pets. This woman lied and said no. She actually had a cat and she sneaks this cat into the apartment. This is a good movie. I'm going to try my best not to give it away. I want you to watch it. Now, one of her neighbors knew about the cat and slid a note underneath her door reminding her that pets are not allowed because some people are allergic. One night she is sound asleep and one of her neighbors breaks into her apartment, puts the cat into the oven and kills it. This woman is then punished for lying and violating the pet free policy. Now the people in this apartment complex have their own special culture and this culture involves acting in the best interest of the entire community. A very interesting movie. Had my attention obviously. Now, I believe it was a bit of a flaw in the script to use a cat because people who are allergic to cats can simply stay out of your apartment. But dogs are a public nuisance. They are a health and safety hazard. You have to take them out. Right? They bark. They attack people. They are a menace to society. The founder of this culture made a statement in an interview. He said that the vices that corrode society all spring from one source, selfishness. He said that people should always act in the best interests of the entire community. Right? But this writer of the script included other unreasonable uh, ideologies and projects these people as lunatics. So the truth of acting in the best interest of the community and avoiding selfishness gets lost. But make no mistake, selfishness is at the root of dog ownership. In this movie, the people in this apartment complex view selfishness as a mental disorder, right? Very interesting. And after they find out that she lied about not having a pet, they forced her to undergo rehab. 
It is an extreme type of rehab because the writer wanted to project these people as lunatics. I'm going to safely assume the writer of this script was a dog nut. Right? But these people were actually trying to evolve the human species. And they understood that in order to do that, you have to break them first. The movie ultimately promotes selfishness in the end and projects selfishness as a positive human trait. It is not. Now, this other video was uploaded to YouTube a few days ago. This man's pit bull escapes from the home. And as you can see, there are a bunch of kids across the street. There's even a baby present across the street. And these children are lucky that dog was distracted by cats. Had that dog attacked those children, there is nothing that they could have done to stop it. So this mutt runs into the neighbor's backyard chasing these cats and at one point it leaps on top of the fence fairly big fence and it leaps up there effortlessly if it wanted to leap over the fence it could have it essentially did a clear demonstration of how worthless these fences are when a pit bull is behind a fence trust me you are not protected I'm telling you these people these dog nuts are a menace to society they keep people in constant terror and fear so the owner of this retarded worthless mutant goes into the backyard and finally detains this mutt clear example of how to work against the interest of the community. Had there been a child in that backyard, that dog would have mauled that child. It was already excited and in a kill mode. And this same scenario plays out all the time across this country, probably every day. Without question, dogs escape from their owners every day. They estimate that over 5 million dogs run away every year. And that's not the same as escape. But just imagine how many dogs simply break free every year. Either escape from the home or from the possession of the owner where the dog could attack someone. Most of these uh, owners of big dogs, powerful dogs, these people are unable to control those dogs. They cannot detain them, restrain them. If that mutt is on a rampage trying to get to an intended victim or target, you know, there are several videos online of dogs dragging their owners. You've seen these people walk down the sidewalk and you might be walking in the opposite direction. You have to cross the street. Because if that mutt decides to attack you, there is nothing that owner could do to stop it. Again, these people are terrorists. They terrorize entire communities. And we have to start speaking out against this destructive lifestyle. Dog ownership itself is an assault on the entire community. 60% of homes in this country have dogs. And that results in 100% of the population's water being contaminated primarily by dog waste. 100% of the population now has to deal with barking, noise pollution. What, what more does a person have to do to be recognized as a force that works against the interests of the community? They pick up uh, bacteria, parasites, and viruses from dogs 
and pass them on to humans. It is not an extreme idea to avoid physical contact with these dog nuts. It is very, very reasonable. So rather than have a community against dog ownership uh, based on health and safety reasons, this movie uses a cat. But make no mistake, it requires community cooperation to stand up against people who endanger everyone else in the community. To a certain extent, dog owners terrorize every neighborhood that they move into. Because now you have to worry about some organism jumping out of nowhere and attacking you. The dog market itself produces dog tasers, sprays, batons, other forms of protection against dogs. You don't find products like this to protect you from any other creature, cats, squirrels, any other creature in society. As I've said before, I've seen joggers have to stop and start walking in the opposite direction after they spotted an unleashed mutt in somebody's front yard. People see a dog, they have to bring their children inside. Think about it. This is constant terrorism. They live in constant fear. They hear numerous reports in the media where dogs escape and eventually attack innocent people, children. And then they see dogs in their own neighborhood roaming around and they have to hope that the dog never mauls them or their children. And yet these dog nuts love to play the role of the victim. Even if the dog attacks someone, right? It escapes and attacks someone and a cop has to shoot the dog. These lunatics will project the dog as an innocent victim themselves as well. Project themselves as being discriminated against when they are the ones who terrorize communities and increase the chances of injury and death for everybody else in the community. We have to stop tolerating this insanity from these doofus retards. If you remove dogs from society, tell me, what other organism would jump out of nowhere and attack random people? Only dogs. They present a danger that no other creature in society presents. There are certain deadly aspects of nature that is outside the realm of human control that is life-threatening. Tornadoes, right? Lightning. But the threat of dogs is self-imposed onto society by a portion of the society. These brain-dead, brain-damaged, retarded dog nuts. So the other portion, the civilized, sane people need to speak out against this daredevil type of lifestyle and condition that they bring upon communities all across the country. You cannot remain silent. Silence makes you a participant in this criminal dog cult. So if you watch this movie, keep in mind that the people in this apartment complex are not completely insane. All the script needed was a little adjustment. And it would have described this dog nut cult to a T. Dog owners have proven themselves to be failures. And there needs to be corrective measures in place. No matter how much you preach to them, or no matter how much they preach to each other about responsibility for their mutts, there will always be millions of people bitten, hundreds of thousands seriously injured, tens of thousands who need reconstructive surgery and dozens killed every year. And over half of all the victims will be children. These stats are consistent 
they are proven failures and proven terrorists of communities. When these people move into a neighborhood, people are no longer safe. They cannot be confident. You can't walk through the neighborhood and feel safe with these people in the community. You cannot allow your children to play outside with confidence. Right now you have to monitor them much closer. It's the same type of discomfort you have when you know that there are criminals in the community. Right? Violent thieves with guns in the community. These dog nuts are a threat. It's that simple. Health and safety threat. They reduce the value of communities and the quality of life. They pollute the environment and their ownership of these mutants should be outlawed.